I was over in, in Iraq and Fallujah as a machine gunner. And, you know, you go to the VA, you talk to the shrink or the mental health providers, and they push all these pills on you. And, you know, you don't even ask for them. I'll try some of this stuff. And it's like, oh, God, I hate it. It made me act like I was a zombie. Oh, try this one. And it's like, why the hell not just give them weed, man? You got guys who are doing way worse than me. And they prescribe them all these opioids and these other pills. And they say, just take more of these pills, more of these pills. When they probably need to be smoking weed. I'm Tyler Brown and I've been using cannabis for 15 years to relax and be more introspective. I'm originally from Minnesota, joined the Marine Corps at 18 years old. After that, went to college at UC Berkeley and started my own cannabis vaporizer business. I like to box, I enjoy surfing and cooking. Growing up in Minnesota, I was a child of the 90s. It was very illegal. Cannabis was very taboo. I felt it was a bad drug. You smoke this stuff and the cops are going to show up at your house with guns drawn and they're going to take you off to jail because you were a terrible person for smoking a plant. I thought it was up there with heroin. I thought it was a gateway drug. I thought it was a road to nowhere. I thought it was kind of for losers and burnouts. And I actually got sent to military school for trying cannabis in sixth grade. And I will say that's too early. Kids should not be smoking cannabis. I don't even remember where my friend had got the stuff, but it was the stems and the beans and they were popping off and it wasn't good quality weed, but it, it got me affected. I just didn't like how I almost had no control. I really didn't want to try it, to be honest. I didn't really like it. We were so obvious and stupid with it that I got caught around like the second time I tried it. And that was it for me. It was pack your bags, you're going off to military school. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe we did this to me. This is all weed's fault. I was forced to go to military school. It was a very harsh environment meant to reform troubled youths. I thrived in that environment once I realized that, hey, you know, if I do good, I, I get rewarded. So I became kind of the model of what they wanted. And it actually worked out pretty well because the, the reward system of doing good grants you freedoms and, and permissions, kind of like jail in a way, you know, the, you get off for good behavior, but uh, it, it sets you straight. There's no question about that. Went in there, street punk wannabe juvenile and came out straight A's, not drug use and totally reformed. That was exactly what made me want to join the Marine Corps. I mean, true, it wasn't as badass as they made it sound, but that's part of the facade and selling it to younger generation. So, it's funny because in military school, you were rewarded for like behaving and working hard. Whereas when I joined the Marine Corps, it just sucked. Someone was always telling you what to do. You had your freedoms taken away. You're being punished for other people's mistakes. And it felt like there was no light at the end of the tunnel. I just hated the Marine Corps. It wasn't what they marketed it as. And I started sneaking off to my aunt's house and taking a toke here and there. And I was like, wow, this is really relaxing. I didn't think I liked this this much back in high school and growing up. I mean, this is just so much better. And perhaps it could have been the fact that I was stationed in Hawaii. Any night of any season in Hawaii, you can just sit on the beach and sit in some 75 degree weather and relax. It took on like a whole new escape. It was almost like, hey, I'm not in the Marine Corps anymore. All my worries about being in the Marines, deploying overseas, all this stuff just kind of floated away. I was fortunate enough to have family about half an hour walk from the Marine Corps base, which is unheard of. And my aunt was a huge stoner. She just had the stuff around. I just kind of was lucky to have her there and have it for free too. It wasn't something that a Marine wanted to go downtown and ask around for because then you're looking for trouble. Now I use every day, certainly. I think the ideal time is around like 7, 38 p.m. when I get back, get all my work done. I actually tried to cut back. Uh, times here and there, or I take a two-week tolerance break, but it's hard to, to get to sleep when you do that. So the process of discovering what worked best is was definitely assisted by the uh, legalization. It's crazy now, you go into a dispensary here in California, it's like a candy store almost with all the different ways you can do it. You got pre-rolls, you got flour, you got dabs, you got seltzers, you got edibles, you got tinctures, you got pills, you got topicals that you can put on your skin. So I think finding what worked best for me was vaporizers. I don't know how I discovered, I, I boxed in college and I was looking for a healthier way. I felt like I'm just taking too much smoke in on the lungs every day, especially back in college when you're 
using a lot more. So then I got turned on to vaporizers and it does make sense that you're not combusting the entire plant. You're just taking the active ingredients. So I started to the cloud vapor store as a side hustle. I was uh, buying and selling volcano vaporizers. I had one in college in my box. Got my big boy job and thought we were going to get drug tested. We ended up not being drug tested, so I went out and I bought another one. And I just put it up on eBay and then kept repeating the process. And then from there, it kind of snowballed. The introspection and the relaxation that helped me now as an adult, those problems and mental issues didn't exist as a youth because it was a more stress-free time of my life. Now with work, you got to be on the ball. You got to wake up at 8.30 and 9 in the morning. The next thing you know, it's 5 p.m. and you're stressed out and you're kind of running around caffeinated up. And then you use a vaporizer at night or pop some edibles, have to drink a seltzer. And you say, hey, Tyler, why don't you settle down a little bit? Why don't you think about how this customer might be feeling about the issue? And so it's good. It opens up other doorways and avenues of love looking at problems. I have mild cases, arthritis, and definitely for pain relief, it's a good thing. I love this stuff. I think it really helps my life a lot and it's a lot better than the alternatives. I'm Tyler Brown and I use cannabis to relax and be more introspective. Learn more about cannabis and begin your medical cannabis journey at leafwell.com.